Hey guys, so Party Cube back with another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be doing a server showcase. And this server is Wolfcraft. And it's a survival server where you survive as if normal single player survival, kind of like what I've been doing um, in my survival series, except you do it with multiple people. As you can see, there are other people in here. Keezer and I Love Wolves. And I Love... Wolves is a uh, moderator, I believe. Let me see. Okay, so he's a m moderator, and so is Keezer. So they're both moderators. I'm the only like guest on this server. And as you probably told by now, this isn't my normal Minecraft skin. This is a test skin that I've been getting told that I should do is to make my skin look more like my character's name, Sir Party Q. So I haven't showed you the face yet, but I'm going to show you the face now. This is the face. And if you guys like the skin and you like it better than my other skin, leave a like and a comment down below. If you really, really think I should keep the skin, I'm going to use it for a week. Uh, say what I've said for this skin every video. And you guys leave in the comments what do you think of the skin. Vote one is for the assassin's um, skin. Just type that in the chat. Vote one. Vote space one. Vote no space one. As long as I know that you're voting for one. And vote space two for this skin. And if you like it, then I guess this skin might stay. Because I used it to fit my own skin but it and I'm not sure if I can kind of showcase this but the mustache is I kind of like how I made the mustache I can't really show you but it pops out so whenever I put a creeper head on or something a head on it will show a mustache on the creeper or whatever so this survival I've been playing for a while as you can probably tell by my awesome house and I'll show you what supplies I've gotten so far. This is all completely survival. Actually, when they gave me this fly, I asked if I can go on creative and build the house so I didn't have to go back and get a ton of wood. And I didn't get any melons off of that. That's weird. Let me try again. Oh, I got disconnected. Well, okay, I'm going to reconnect and then I will get back to the video. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. So, uh, uh, the the server crashed for a sec, or... No, my Wi-Fi crashed, I should say. Not the server, my bad. I didn't mean to say that. But, anyway. I had to reset my Wi-Fi to come back here, but anyway. This server is also fun because not only is it this, but it's also a place where you can do creative. And I've kind of discovered something quite extraordinary that defies the laws of Minecraft. Now, usually in order to make redstone, Wi-Fi, I'm going to try to build it here. Or maybe I'll just go to the creative world so I'm not wasting any supplies. So, basically, you can't... It's supposedly, supposedly impossible to make Wi-Fi redstone but without any mods MC like edit or anything like that so no mods no MC edit no mob spawners just redstone blocks and redstone torches and basically is that the way they're coming there it is okay so basically what I ended up doing let's go to the gates oh I passed it gates okay this should lift us this is a cool plug-in right here this elevator mount thing see it's kind of pushing me up so anyway um I made wireless Wi-Fi wireless Wi-Fi being the same thing redstone but the only problem is that it only goes a block away distance it doesn't go a huge distance but I still think it's kind of revolutionary in what you can do in this and basically let me get rid of these items because I don't need them basically this was kind of my redstone testing area 
for this server like okay so this is the little system right here I'm gonna dig out a circle around it and don't mind that glass thing okay so this is the system this little dugout area now there is nothing in between here I could dig straight down like just enough blocks so you know there's nothing underneath either nothing connecting anything so basically for some reason this was like my attempt at an RS Norlax see how compact I can make it this ends up bugging out itself if I can hold on let me get a grass block if I power it on let's say it burns each other's torch out but for some reason this is the really really weird part sure vote space one okay oh vote succeeded anyway uh so when I power this redstone this unpowered redstone with iris and relax, it somehow activates that. Yes, sometimes that activates randomly, but watch. That activated. And it's not set on any timer. You can build this exactly in every single time. Exactly by the way it looks in every single time you place down a torch, that will turn on. I don't know how that's possible, but it is extremely cool in my thoughts. Considering, look, I'm going to sit here for a while. Nothing. But if I put the torch, it lights up. It's the weirdest thing ever. And, I mean, there's nothing underneath this either. I can dig out, I'm going to dig out a block under, because if I completely dig this out, there's nothing underneath this one. Whoops. Uh, dang it. Oh, well, powered it on too. Let me put this here, and this here, got it, okay, and somehow it works. Anyway, that wasn't the main, this, I find this is the, like, special treat for you guys, considering I figured out how to make wireless redstone, that's pretty awesome. Now I'm going to show you how far I've been doing in this survival. I've died twice with straight um, diamond armor twice both time had diamond armor and this has TNT all my other blocks this is my tools and weapons and this is my and this is my sorry about that people are being loud in the background and these are my wood supplies this is my miscellaneous. I have a lot of miscellaneous. I have tried to collect as many discs as I can, but I can't really. And then dyes, wool, potions, which sucks because I had a brewing stand, brewing, br brewing stand right here, and I was making, but for some reason it broke. I don't know how, and then I tried destroying it to try to take it down, replace it, but it didn't respawn, which sucks. And... Here, armor, mob drops, food. If you want to see what was in those chests, you can pause. But this is a really fun server. The owners are really welcoming. Every single time I come on the server, they are always like, Hey, hi, hi, hey. And I'm like, oh, wow, there's a lot of courtesy here. And there is like a few rules. You can't curse. You can't do all this stuff. But, I mean, there's... It's an extremely fun server. Yes, PvP is on, but it's not a PvP server. They strongly rec suggest that you don't fight. Because if you kill somebody for no reason... And I, as much as I'd like to kill that cow, he's unkillable because he's on someone else's property. Anyway, this is a really fun server. I suggest you guys try it out because they, these people really deserve a lot of people to be playing their server. And they don't get enough people playing it so if you guys want to join the server the server IP will be down below hope you guys enjoyed the wireless redstoning I mean I'm still shocked by it all the other stuff that you saw there I'll put in my next adventure map ideas episode 2 which will be coming out tomorrow
And as a recap on the wireless redstone, just in case you didn't like understand it, I'm going to be explaining it a bit further and building it from scratch. So yeah, it will be a cool episode, so I go watch it. Okay, well that's really all for this um, server showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Third Party Q. Hit that subscribe button to become a sir. Hit that like button if you like the video. Leave a comment down below. Again, vote one for my old assassin skin. Vote two for this skin. With a 3D mustache that if I go to the creative world, you guys might see it if I can get this. Okay, I, actually I'll do it in tomorrow's adventure map idea so you can see what it looked like. And, because I gotta end this video soon, because it's about to reach the limit that I can post the YouTube link. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video again. Hit that subscribe button to become a sir, leave a comment, like it if you like it. And, thanks for watching and goodbye.